Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mix Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this shadow box card. These are lovely to make. I've actually made a few already on my channel, but I haven't done one with a one inch frame. So this frame here is one inch all the way around. I've done half an inch, I've done five by seven with the half an inch, I've done some photo frames with a similar kind of concept, but I haven't done this one. So I've actually made this as a sympathy card. This is for the family of a lovely lady who was part of the Mixed Up Crafters group. And um, I'm sending this to their family on behalf of us all. So those of you that know who I'm talking about, I don't want to you know, openly say names and stuff on my channel, but if you're a member of the group, I know many of you um, will know who this is being sent to and this is on behalf of us all. So I hope you like the card that I'm sending to the family. These are beautiful cards to make, they can be made for any occasion. So, you know, these are lovely, I've done them as birthday cards before, wedding cards. You can also put a sheet of acetate on the top, you can have it as a shaker card, you can put things inside. There's so many variations to this style. But it's a top folding card so it stands up like so. And then inside I've got my mats and layers and it says there are no words, we are just so sorry. And uh, yeah, there's the card. So this will fit in my box envelopes. I will link that now. I'll probably link it through the video as well so you can pop it in there. And um, yeah, so it makes it a bit easier to post. So let me show you how I've made this really pretty card. Okay, so you're gonna want a piece of 11 by 11 cardstock. You want something that's about 200 GSM um, because you want it to be able to hold that 3D shape. Now the inspiration has come from this one here which is in the book and um, it's gorgeous. I thought it was a shadow box and then when I saw that it was actually just a, a five by seven card, I just thought that would look really nice in a shadow box with this kind of, you know, cascading into that shadow box area, I guess. So that's the inspiration. Thanks, Nikki. <laughs> I always love her cards. So um, I've stamped my cardstock here and I've used the lovely big stamp here. And it's this one up in the top left hand corner. Really, really nice. And then I've just coloured them um, very roughly. I haven't done any shading or anything because I've done more of a focus on the shading and intensified the colours and stuff on these ones here because I want them to really pop against the background. So what you want to do along the 11 inch side, well actually it's on every side, you want to score at half an inch, one inch, then two inches and two and a half. And you want to do that on all four sides. So again rotate, you're going to do half an inch, one inch, then two inches and half an inch. That one inch gap there will give us that nice thick frame. So just rotate that and repeat again and rotate and repeat again. Then on two opposite sides only, so I'm going to do this one and then this opposite side, keep it in there and again along that 11 inch side. You would have scored at two and a half, you then want to score at three and a half, but just down to the second score line. I'm going to flip this over and bring it up closer in a moment, just so you can see the score lines. So you've done your two and a half, that was your last one, but then you want to do three and a half, just down to the second score line, and then seven and a half, just down to the second score line. And then rotate it all the way around so you've got the opposite end and do the same. Three and a half, just down to the second score line and seven and a half just down to the second score line. If I flip that over, you will be able to see these score lines much, much better. So you can see my half inch, my one, my two, and my two and a half, and then that three and a half, but it's gone past the first score line, just down to the second. Because I'm working with a pattern paper, it, it just gets a little bit confusing that way around, so it's much easier if I just flip it over. If you can see a faint line here, ignore that. I scored it wrong before and I'm not going to waste this, um, so I just rub them out. You can kind of get rid of score lines with the, this end of your stylus if you just go to the back side and flatten it. But you can see again here, there's that half inch, the one, then the two, then the two and a half, and then that three and a half just down to the second score line. And you'll see I've got it on the opposite end down here. Okay? You then want to fold and burnish all of your score lines. Okay, so all my lines are all burnished there. Next you want to go and cut down those little extra score lines that we've done. So I'm going to flip it over. So we're going to cut down that three and a half inch score line just down to that one there. You then want to cut across on the diagonal, so that's that one inch section, and then down and it will join the corner of that big square in the middle here. 
and then if you go along here you're just going to remove all of that corner like so okay so I'm going to go along here again so you can see there's my three and a half score line down to the second just holding this up and cutting I'm trying to keep myself from shaking and then you're going to go across on the diagonal down to the score line like so and then follow down to the top of the corner of the other corner there rotate and then I'm just going to remove all of that like so so this you've got so you've got that shape so again if I just talk through the score lines that's the half inch that's the one inch that's your two inch here and then the two and a half and what will happen is when they fold around there's that one inch section and it gives us a nice thick frame and we're starting to form our corner here I'm going to go through that all again on this side here because I really want to make sure I just feel I need to make that score line a little bit more so you guys can see it it's like they get squashed there we go because it's just a cut line but I really want you to be able to see so here it is again here I'm just cutting down so I've gone past the first score line down to the second just where that score line was you're then going across right down to that third score line and then down to that top corner and then remove all of that. Now I do have other shadow boxes on my channel, you know, check them out. I've got a 6x6 six six one but it's got a thinner frame. I wanted to do this with a thicker, okay, like so. And then again here, down to the second across diagonally to the top of that third one down to the fourth and then remove like so if I flip it over you see the shape there that you will have this is going to be the back this is going to be stuck onto the card but all of this is going to fold over like so okay you can see that lovely big frame that we're getting so next we want to start gluing some stuff down I'm going to stick my matte layer because I want a little bit of a cream frame I'm going to do that last but if you want to fill this now with some pattern paper you want to do that before we stick it all down so I'm going to use my quick grab glue here and you want to start with one of the straight edges first so I just find it a bit easier and you're just going to add glue just to that last half inch section okay Fold it back so you've got two of the half inch pieces facing you. So I've got one half here and another half here. Then fold the whole thing over. So you've got the one inch and one of the half inch pieces. And just make sure that all sticks down. Then when you bring it up, you will have a perfect tube shape. And then you can fold it back that way and just go in there and really burnish again all those score lines so then you get a really nice shaped tube. I'm going to do it again on this side so I'm just putting the glue just on that one outer half inch piece and then have taking that half inch and then the other half inch section so I've just got a one inch piece that's facing me and then you're folding everything over so then you've got a one inch piece and a half inch piece facing you. Hopefully I'm breaking that down and then fold back that way and now we've got two tubes okay next this piece is going to fold over and sit inside like so now you might find that you get a little bit of buckling so what I would do is just take a little wedge off of the very bottom one so just that half inch section there and again just there and there and then just go back in and just check and see how it's going to look. That's made a lot of difference. If you feel you've got anything still, then just take a very thin bit, just straight on that second half inch piece. Just so you get a nice finish. It's like, it's such a small amount. Just a little shaving off the sides. 
like so and then you're going to add your glue to that last half inch section like so and then this time if you stick it down and fold it back away because otherwise you don't want to damage anything that you've already stuck down like so so inside there can you see what I've done and then when you bring it up it will all come up together and it's just a really much I think easier way to get a really good finish on your shadow boxes so I'm going to repeat it again here usually I would fast forward these but I do want to make sure you can see exactly what I'm doing so I've just put glue again on that very outer piece but this time I'm going to fold just that half over so I've got the glue there and then fold it down so I've just folded that one little piece under and it will just prevent you damaging or possibly buckling any of these lovely edges that you've already done so again just give that a second to grab and then we're going to put glue on these in a minute but you should be able to bring up all of your sides really easily to form that really nice shadow box you see all the dimension you've got there now so I'm going to flatten it back out again and I'm just going to put some glue in this triangle here this triangle here and try and do it all in one go if you want to do one you know an end at a time you can but I'm going to bring all of mine up together so it's just on the flat pieces bring it all up and just spend a minute sticking all of those corners down like so really pleased with that I think it looks really really nice so now we've got our six by six outer you know frame there which is going to sit onto the front of our six by six car blank when I get to it now I want to do a nice little frame inside so this is the cardstock that comes in the kit and um, this is the one I'm working with actually for those of you that may not have this um, you get all sorts in there I've taken most of mine out because I'm using it now but I want to create a little frame just in the middle here so this actual size is um, by the time everything comes in it's already under four so I'm going to actually cut this piece to three and five eighths of an inch squared you may want to do three and three quarters but I think three and five eighths is going to fit this better it's a lovely like linen kind of matte finish and that's going to go in there with a nice frame looks really nice I'm going to use the Kalau glue now for these bits so I want to start adding a little bit of strength to this card. Move that around until I've got a nice equal border. Okay, and then I'm going to pick, I think that's better to have as the top because there's a lot going on there. So now I've gone and stamped three of these. I might not use all three. And then I've done quite a few of these ones. And then I've done my With Sympathy. And then I've also got these gold strips as well. And the reason I've done these, and I'm, I'm glad in a way it happened, but because I did do that extra score line by accident, you can faintly see it. So I've got these to go over it. I'm going to do that with them on all of the corners. And I think it just really adds a little bit of an extra special touch to the frame. So I'm going to stick them first and then I'm going to build up all these bits on top of that. So I'm just going to use some of this glue actually because I think it's going to be better. I'm wondering actually whether to make them shorter or whether to cross them over. I think I'm going to do them shorter so I think I'm actually going to do each one so that it is five because I've done them six by quarter of an inch I'm actually going to do these ones so that they're five inches. Again, completely optional. <laughs> Lay this one down first. I'm going to do two opposites first and then I can have them all kind of sitting the same way. Actually, that needs to be a little bit longer. I'll get this right in a minute. So they need to be two or five, but two need to be five and a quarter. Fortunately, I've got enough left here. So let's do five and a quarter. There we go. That looks really, really nice. I love that little extra. So although it is kind of covering a mistake, <laughs> I 
think it actually looks really nice. I'm kind of glad that happened. Okay, then I have these pieces now, so I'm going to start kind of having them come into this area like so. It'll kind of be something like that, and then I think the with sympathy will be maybe like that. I'll put it on some foam and then I'm going to start just kind of adding in these little bits and pieces just for that. I love that little bit of red, that pop of that colour I think looks really nice. And maybe bring a couple around here as well. So I'm going to pop it on high speed and start building all of this up. So there is the finished card and I think it's turned out really really beautiful. I love the shine from the glossy accents you can just see it all catching there and that's using this here so you just squeeze it on the areas that you want to have that gloss or that shine and then just let it dry and it will be completely clear and you can just see there and I think it works perfectly with that gold trim now and um, I've added the or yeah, well actually I added the buttons here can see them and then I put a blob of the Nuvo drops in the centre and I use the mustard gold and it worked really well with this linen background. I've got the doily there as well. And then I've stuck that whole thing onto a six by six card blank top folding. So you can see where I've just stuck the whole thing onto this here. And then I put a matte layer inside. So my gold mat is five and three quarters squared and the cream is five and a half squared and I've stamped my message. So that's all ready now for me to pop, pop in my box envelopes, which I've linked into the video. And um, that will just, you know, keep everything safe and it won't get crushed, um, you know, when it's mailed. And um, keep everything nice and safe so yeah I've thoroughly enjoyed making this one as much as it's a sympathy card it was still really nice to make and um, I just hope it's well received considering the circumstances so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial from me today I will share all the links to everything that I've you know used you should still be able to get hold of the kit because I know that they're doing open stock um, so just check out those links if you would like to you know grab that one there's some beautiful stamps in there and I'm looking forward to doing some more projects using the supplies and also I'll just link up here two other the shadow box videos I'll do the five by seven and the other six by six so if you do want to check those ones out you might like to do them as well but uh, yeah I'll be back again very soon with another tutorial thanks for watching bye